Alright, so this is how I make my fretboards. Um, first thing you want to do is figure out what kind of nut that you're going to use at the top of the fretboard. If you have a uh, squared off nut, then you want to measure from the end of the fretboard. But if you're using a bolt or a nut um, as your nut, uh, then at the top of your fretboard you want to account for the uh, diameter of the nut. So on a squared off nut you're going to measure to that edge of the nut but on the round you're going to measure to the center of the diameter or the center of the bolt. So this is a 3 8 of an inch bolt so I'm going to measure 3 16 of an inch past the fretboard uh, to begin my measurements for my frets. So go online and I get my fret measurements in millimeters because it's e easier to measure in the millimeters than it is to measure 0.62 of an inch. Uh, so I get them all in millimeters. So I come to the end three sixteenths of an inch overlap to account for the, let me see if I can zoom in, so I've got overlap here, you can see, to account for the three eighths of an inch nut. So now you want to take our measurement here the first fret is 37.043 millimeters from the nut so we want to go 35, 36, 37 so what we have we, uh, down here so 37.043 and we'll measure the next one uh, from the nut this is a just so you know this is a 26 inch uh, scale. Uh, so the next fret, the second fret from the nut is 72.007 millimeters. So we go to 70, 70, 1, 2. And you want to take all your measurements from the nut uh, out so the numbers are going to get bigger as you go. Um, I wouldn't use fret to fret because if one fret is off everything after that is going to be off. So if you go from the nut if you're a little bit off on one it's not going to affect the next. Okay so I've gone and I've marked all of the frets down the fretboard and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my uh, 90 degree and I'm going to mark them straight across on each one. And here are all the frets marked with pencil. All right, so uh, I got the little miter box out and I use a piece of wood here to keep the fretboard tight so it doesn't move around. Now line up the line with the marks and I'll go ahead and cut it down. Okay, so we have all the frets cut in. As you can see and yeah my fretboard is a little bit long what I'm going to end up doing is cutting it to length once I have the neck and the body together so that oak has a lot of grooves uh, in its grain naturally so at this stage what I do is uh, I'll sand this down so I've gone over it one time with uh, is it 335 that's it, 335U. Sanding it down, the um, frets get full of sawdust, so snap it down there. You can see it clears it out. Okay, these are medium high nickel silver fret wires from CB Giddy. And uh, these are what I'll be using. And this one's unopened, but I have these. Uh, a couple of leftover pieces and some fresh ones. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is we want to trim these to length. 
So I will be putting one in there and then I use these to trim it off. Keep my thumb there so it doesn't kick back and hit me. But basically what we're going to do is just uh, put, put this in. A little bit of overhang that we can file down and then hold this piece and I'm holding the piece here cut that off go to the next one push it down and then uh, we'll file them and I glue them because if they're not and I try to file them they might move in here and I won't get a good uh, edge on them uh, good rounding off on them it just makes it easier if I put a couple of drops of super glue. Normally, I put one on each side and one in the middle. One, two, three pieces. Okay, this is a just a scrap block of wood that uh, I use to help push them down. All right, so I'll take a drop of super glue, and this is the gel kind, so it doesn't soak in. And one each side, one in the middle. It's just a tiny drop. And then uh, get our fret lined up. Make sure it, it overlaps the, the ends a little bit. And then uh, put this on top. Push down. And I'm not happy with that side. Better. You can see the side here it's down in there pretty good and I'll just take the towel wipe that up and that's one fret down and several to go here okay so here we have all the frets in I decided I'm going to cut it off here to end the uh, fretboard so I didn't put one in there. But we have all the frets in and you can see they're all uneven. So the next step is to file them down. Uh, for that, just show you if you can hear this or see the paper towel. They're very sharp. They just ripped that to shreds there. This is the file I use for uh, flattening out my frets. And basically what you want to do is you want to get all the frets filed down level with the wood. So you want to get that gap right there to go away. So we're going to be filing this way flat. Uh, first thing I like to do is kind of knock off the edges because those are what's going to catch you up. Start working these down a little bit. All right, so I finished this side. This side is nice and smooth. So I filed them, the edges some more with this file. And then I took the sandpaper and just went back and forth, kind of not flat, but a little bit curved over the edge with my fingertips. Alright, so fretboard is done. I actually cut it off uh, now that I've finished the frets. Uh, so that's that's the fretboard. And you can finish here, you can stain it. Um, what you can do is mark your scale, your blue scale, the 3, the 5, 7, 9, 12. Uh, on the side here you can uh, use a marker. If you want, you can you can uh, take a file, notch it, uh, drill, and um, you know em embed something into the wood to mark uh, mark your frets. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, drill some holes uh, to countersink uh, some BBs in there to be my markers, and then I'm going to stain it black. So 
uh, I stained the fretboard uh, last night, let it sit overnight. Today I taped off the fretboard and uh, worked on the frets. Uh, what I did, because they had stain on them, is I uh, uh, ran a razor blade down the edge, just scraping off the stain, and then I finished them off with this. Uh, once I got them clean, I I uh, just buffed everything up with uh, some high grit uh, sandpaper and uh, so there they are looking good so let's pull this tape off and uh, so there's the black stain and the finished frets okay so all the tapes off you can see uh, it looks pretty darn nice. Uh, I did do a little bit extra cleanup after I took the tape off, but not much. Uh, only thing left, take the uh, BBs. We're going to put them in uh, their new home. Use the uh, gel super glue again. Put a drop in there. BB over top. And we're going to use another piece of wood to just push it. Whoop. that in. Or we can go this way. There you go. So it'll look like that. I'll do the rest of them. And there you go. I call that a finished fretboard. Got the BBs going down the side to mark the blue scale. Got nice and black. And we have the uh, frets installed. The only thing left is to put it on a uh, guitar neck, and when I when I do that, I'll be uh, using polyacrylic to put a clear coat on the guitar neck, and I will cover the sides up on that, at that time. But that's it. She's done. <laughs>